thing, um, and we'll just keep using you. You can sit in this lovely chair right here. I'm going to move it behind you. Is the toe strength test, we call it. So what we're going to do, and you can do this with a partner, is you're going to take their beautiful foot, and I'm a foot guy, right? So you're going to have their foot out like this, and they're going to bring their toes all the way up. And what we're going to do is we're going to test the muscles in two areas, one at the base of the toes. So I'm just pushing down here. That tests your short extensor muscles. Okay, and she's got good ones there. And then I'm going to come out to the end of the toe, and I'm going to have her hold her toes up, and I'm going to see how much strength she has there. And I have really, really strong index fingers, as you can tell. <laughs> okay? No, she's got a little weakness of some of those long extensor muscles, right? So there's another potential power leak, because your extensor muscles lift your toes up, operate the front, and have to do with that ankle dorsiflexion that we were talking about before. So there's a potential area for a power leak as well. So, so far we have the big toe bending back test, whatever you'd like to call it. Okay, we call it the hallux dorsiflexion test. And the toe strength test. Okay, so those are two tests that we can do at home. The next one that um, John's going to go through with us is a squat test looking at um, how much mobility we have in our ankles. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and stand up. And what I'm going to ask you to do, I want you to kind of center yourself over your, so your feet are right underneath your hips, yeah? And I want you to go ahead and start to bend the knees and ankles. Drop, so that your weight goes back kind of onto your heel. There you go. Now drop, keep dropping. So can you see where she ends up? Okay, now let it go to, go to balancing on the whole foot, the whole tripod. Feel the whole tripod? Try to spread your toes a little bit. Good, and now start to lower down wherever you stay balanced. So right there, she's at probably that 12 or so degrees of dorsiflexion of the ankle. And is that, do you feel that tight behind the ankle at all? Or do you feel that more in the front? Where do you feel that? Um, a little bit in the back. In the back. So that's kind of calf related. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, that's where we typically are gonna see it. Now some people will do that very same squat and they'll get down to the bottom and it's right in the front of the ankle joint, mm -hmm. implying that there's probably some kind of bony impingement going on there. Mm -hmm. But most of us are going to feel our, like when we ask somebody to squat, they're usually going to let their heels come up and their toes are going to do the thing that they're kind of balancing on when they go into that squat. Being able to do a full flat-footed squat is a skill, something to be worked on. Okay. Um, so we can probably work on that with you at some point. Mm -hmm. um, uh, let's see. So next in line for moving up the chain, when you do the squat, I want you to try doing one more squat. And this time I want you to try to keep head and chest up a little bit. And I want you to drop down, start dropping. Good. Do you feel the toes coming up a little bit? Good. Now can you go any lower? Good. So what we want to see here is, are we getting good extension in the back? Are we maintaining the body over the ankles? You can come on back up because you're starting to work. That was good. Did you feel that in the glutes? Did you feel that in the back? Mostly in the glutes. Good. So that's where you should feel it. Um, so that tells us how much dorsiflexion she has at the ankle and where that, where that potential for increasing range is going to come. And for her, it's going to come into the calf. Um, the knees were working appropriately. They did not collapse too much to the inside. Well, I'll have you squat one more time. Go ahead and squat down. If we saw her knee start to track too far to the inside, that would imply that we were getting that formation in the foot, which was something that we needed to deal with. So we aren't seeing a ton of that. You're, you're holding that fairly well, and I think you're probably compensating pretty well up top, because I know that you want to do something with that, with that toe. I know you want to go that way. Um, Fantastic. So the first test we had was the big toe bending back test. The second one was the, the toe muscle strength test. The third test John was talking about is the ankle rocker test. We're just seeing how much dorsiflexion do we have. The next test, and that's kind of a combination of the ankle...